One of the best players oh. in the sport this year, Matt Chapman. Oh, Overlooked. Yeah, yeah. Overlooked. Well, well, let, let, yeah, we're watching that budding young star. We really. sure are, H. You know, and this is a guy who, since the All Star break, he's hitting over 360, slugging over 700. I mean, 20 extra base hits, Major League best, I think American League best, 29 games uh, on base streak, 13 game hitting streak. So let's take a look. Let's break them down, H. Power to all fields. You can see here turning on fastballs in, line drives. This ball is actually inner third, stays inside the ball, and still has the pop to go right center. You throw it down the middle, I crush it down the middle. This, that's a two iron. That's a scud missile. This is what I really like about him. You saw a 3-2 pitch against someone like Felix Hernandez. Laid off as walks are going up, strikeouts are going down. But the defense is just phenomenal. Going to his right, ridiculous going down the line. We're going to break this down a little deeper. He does such a good job putting himself in position. Arm strength, deluxe, about 25 feet in the foul ground. Now, Oakland, you know this, H. There's about 40 yards of foul ground. Oh, yeah. Knowing where he is, that's a long run. That's, that's tough for a wide receiver. Can he go to his right? Absolutely. Look how he goes to his left. That's basically five, six hole where the shortstop is. Are you saying is. there's nothing he can't do? There is nothing he can't do. But there are two <laughs> things he does extremely well that I want to talk about. Okay. And it all what starts. You got? Number one is the setup. Hey, let We're going to come baseball down. baseball from you. Here you go. All right. When I signed my first pro deal, all I did was play. I played shortstop and second in college. So third base was very foreign to me. And Mick Kelleher, who was the infield instructor with the Yankees, told me, you got to set up, get down, and put your hands to the side. And I thought, man, maybe it was like Carney Lansford type style where you're like this, where very few balls are hit right at you. It's usually one step, two steps, multiple steps to the ball. If you're like this, your first movement is, I got to get this arm up. So it's almost a wasted movement. So that's number one. You're going to see Matt Chapman how fantastic his setup is. The second thing are angles. Third base is played in a series of about what I like to say 45 degree angles. Depending on how hard the ball's hit when it's to your left or to your right. So H, let's go here. All right. If I'm taking to a ball to my right and I'm going in a direct line to it, go ahead. I'll take, let's say, two steps and I can get this ball right here. All right? So that's if I take a straight line, kind of a perfect L to the third baseline. But if okay. I take an angle and the ball's hit hard and I start going like a 45, you split third base and left field and kind of take a 45 degree angle and I take those same two steps. Come on, here we go. Or, yep. or three. Yeah. We'll come here, but let's break it down. If I take two steps and I come here, give it to me at again. this give angle. Give it to me again. I messed you up on that. All right. That's all right. So go. I'm here. Two steps. If I come instead of a straight line and I come at a 45, look at the difference. I gain time and space and I gain distance to being able to field the ball. Now, what's to catch this? If you're going to make yourself further away from first base, you need to have the arm strength to get there. Yeah. Matt Chapman has plenty of that. So let's go back to the tape, and let's start with that Robinson Cano foul ball. Look at this. Look at the setup. Look how low he gets. Look at his hands to each side on the outside of his knees, ready to burst left or right, whichever way the ball is. And this is my favorite. That arrow there is what most guys would do. Young third basemen would probably take a direct route. Look at the mark of his, of his throwing hand. He takes that angle, which allows him to grab that ball that's down the third baseline, mm. gives himself a little love more that. space, has plenty of arm strength to make the play. I love that. It's so great. let me ask you a quick question. A third baseman who doesn't have that type of an arm, you play closer and still closer. take the same You have angles? to. I mean, you got to get – exactly. You got to – if physically you can't make certain plays, then you got to position yourself to – Lenny Harris taught me a lot of that when he was with us. Uh, yeah. He was a guy who played all over, didn't have a cannon for an arm. So he's like, my regular depth was double play depth, is what he would say to me. Mm -hmm. So it's stuck in my head. A guy with, without a great arm can still play third base. The thing is, you are going to give up a little bit of range if you don't have the arm. Mm -hmm. The beauty of the Matt Chapmans and the Nolan Arenados are the guys that aren't bunt guys, hit it by me. There and I'm quick. Yeah. You know, so th those are the guys that, you know, they're really short stops that play the third base position they cover so much ground they're just fun to watch and now that he's swinging the sticks the way he, the, the stick the way he is I, love I mean that. he's, well that's why I said angle. Harold I said one of the best players in the sport yeah look at those names he's here you go your war leaders among position players this year Matt Chapman's on the list with all the MVP candidates and is I would bad, say that's the bad one to be out of breath looked. when you do a diamond demo uh, trust me, I, <laughs> I heard you puffing <laughs>